Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review TP-Link's newest Deco BE16000. This is a Wi-Fi 7 quad band mesh system. It's designed to give your home pretty much full on Wi-Fi coverage throughout it. Uh, you know, depending on the size of your home, but it should do pretty well. I'm gonna do my speed test ratios with the following Wi-Fi devices. And if you have a Pixel 8 or an 8 Pro, even though this is a Wi-Fi 7 device, I can't quite get Wi-Fi 7 speeds out of it uh, with any mesh system or router that I test. So think of the Pixel 8 or the 8 Pro as a really good Wi-Fi 6E device. So we got some stats on the side. So we got six high performance antennas, whole bunch of other stuff. Obviously a quad band system has all the speeds right here for 2.5 gigabit ports. And this is a depiction of a mesh system, basically two or more devices, in this case three, that act together to increase your Wi-Fi coverage throughout your home. That's why you see these bubbles. And because this is Wi-Fi 7, they can even combine wireless and wired uh, comboed back also i mean this thing is supposed to be crazy fast in fact i'll do a separate wireless backhaul demo uh on my tv in addition to this full-on review it kind of looks like the bottom of a rocket engine it's about to like boost off uh, so all three of these are going to be exactly the same so this is what the unit looks like we got a wps button for 2.5 gigabit ports we got a usb and we got a power port on the bottom, we have a factory reset. I'm hiding that info right there. And this is the top. And in fact, this looks identical to the BE85. Now the BE85 does have two of the faster ports. So it actually has the two 10 gig ports and an SFP plus. But in terms of size and shape, it looks pretty much identical. It is larger than the BE63. So as you guys can see, this is the BE63, which also has uh, for 2.5 gigabit ports and I wrote I put my own sticker of main in case you guys are wondering It doesn't actually come with that and uh, these two are exactly the same. It's pretty much ex they're um, Exactly the same they uh, actually all three of these are routers, but within the same network only the main one acts as the router So this is going to be the power plugs so here's a closer look at the power supply. It is 100 to 240 volts, outputs at 12 volts at 3.3 amps. So it means it's a little over 36 watts of power. And we get the standard, you know, little quick installation guide with a little ethernet inside. And the ethernet usually doesn't say if it's Cat5e or Cat6 or things like that. It just doesn't say anything. So I imagine it's either Cat5e or uh, Cat6. And then with the other box, it's probably just gonna be, yeah, two more power adapters, so it's exactly the same. So it's been about a week since I've unboxed this thing. I have been using it as my main mesh system, and so far it's so good. So no drops, something abnormal, super easy to set up using the Deco app, which we'll talk about the Deco app in a bit. Now, TP-Link did reach out and send me the sample mesh system to test out. So as always, I do all my own speed test range tests, have all those numbers here. Let's start with the internet speed test. Now, as you guys already know, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds, unless of course, the router itself can't go that fast, which in my case, this is the case actually, because my internet speeds are five gigabits per second upload and download, and this mesh system has four of these 2.5 gigabit ports. So as soon as my internet source comes in, it actually caps it to 2.5 gigabit speed. So when I do an internet speed test on my computer, which is hooked up via ethernet to this thing, I actually get right, right, just slightly under 2.5 gigabit speeds. And with the Wi-Fi devices, that's slightly a different story. So looking at these numbers, Wi-Fi 7 did fairly well. Um, not quite as well into upload section, but still, I mean, still getting amazing numbers overall. Uh, and Wi-Fi 60, not quite as fast as Wi-Fi 7, but still got some solid numbers. Now, to find the true performance of this mesh system, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. And for the secondary, for the wired and wireless backhaul setups, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which then jumps to the primary one, which then goes to the server. And that way I'm actually isolating this mesh system so I'm no longer relying on my internet service provider or the public speed test server. So looking at these numbers, there is an increase in speed, especially for the Wi-Fi 7 section. I mean, for Wi-Fi 7, I'm actually getting really, really, really close um, to maxing out just under 2.5 gigabits. And I really feel that if these ports were even faster, if they could support it 5 gigs 
or 10 gigs, 10 gigabits per second, then I feel like these speeds would be even faster for Wi-Fi 7. Uh, as far as Wi-Fi 6E, not quite as fast, but still getting some crazy fast speeds, uh, overall improvement throughout. Now, for the wired backhaul setup, because these are all four, all four of these are 2.5 gigabit ports, uh, no matter which one I use, I'm actually going to get very similar speeds because there is no slowdown. It's not like one 2.5 gigabit port and the other ones are gigabit and it actually slows down. No. Um, throughout, very fast speeds uh, on a wired backhaul setup. But the most impressive thing about this is actually it's wireless backhaul performance and they actually got some super, super solid numbers. Wireless backhaul was so close to being just as good as wired backhaul. I mean, it practically almost is as good as wired backhaul, which is really saying something because one of the best Wi-Fi 60 mesh systems on wireless backhaul caps to just around gigabit speeds. And this thing is going far above and beyond that. So really, Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems are amazing. Even if you don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices, the fact that these can talk to each other using MLO is pretty amazing. All right, so next we jump into range test. Now range will vary drastically by location. So if you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, um, all of this can negatively impact your range. That's why really range will really drastically uh, vary by location. Now in my case at 20 feet away, getting some solid numbers. There is a bit of a drop more in the upload section, but still getting some solid numbers. At 50 feet away, this is actually when I'm outside my place and still getting some solid, solid numbers very fast. And even at 100 feet away, I'm actually across the street at this point, still getting some super fast numbers. Uh, more in the download section, obviously the upload section is suffering quite a bit at this point, but I mean, I'm literally across the street. Now this mesh system can actually go further. I just actually cap my testing at a hundred feet. Now for setup and configuration, use the Deco app. It's available both on iOS and on Android. Super easy to use. And it tells you what to connect where. It tells you step by step what you need to do. And it's just really, really simplified. That's actually one of the reasons why I like it. And it does give you a decent number of options. Now, it shows you how they're connected to each other, so you can mix wired and wireless backhaul. You can have these wired to each other, this one wireless. The important thing is that the main one is actually hooked up to your modem or your ONT via an Ethernet cable. So, if you have smart light switches, like I actually have some by TP-Link, and this actually automatically shows up in the Deco app, and I can even automate some stuff with that if I wanted to. Uh, but it's just kind of cool that because I guess because it's the same uh, manufacturer, it actually shows up there. Uh, then you can scan some stuff to look for problems within your network, uh, which comes included with that. Uh, you could set up parental controls as well. And parental controls actually gives you a decent number of options. You can filter out some stuff and you could set some times that, you know, they can, the kids can use the internet basically. Um, and if you want, more advanced features, so more, um, pretty much more filtering and more controls, that actually does require a separate subscription. So just as a heads up. And then when you get to the advanced section, um, or just really the main settings sections, now you can actually set up your SSID, uh, which is your Wi-Fi name. So you could make a separate one for 2.45 gigahertz. You can make, when I say separate one, the 2.45 gigahertz make one SSID one Wi-Fi name. And then you can make a separate Wi-Fi name for the six gigahertz, and then you can make a separate Wi-Fi name for the MLO, for the multi-link operation. And this is the one you wanna to connect to with the Wi-Fi 7 device to get the maximum possible speeds. Um, so there's that. And then um, you can make a guest network, you can make an Internet of Things Wi-Fi for your smart home devices if you wanted to do that. Um, and then if you go into the advanced sections, then you can actually even run this mesh system in access point mode if you wanted to. You could set up VPN, uh, you could do beam forming, fast roaming, and then there's still like a decent number of options in there. And then you can schedule some stuff to restart or just look for auto firmware updates and things of that nature. Now to summarize, this mesh system is very good for anyone with internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits, whether you're running wired backhaul or wireless backhaul. And in fact, wireless backhaul is actually where this thing shines because it has really, really good speeds. And just as a heads up, if this is my main router and 
Yeah, this is the one that I put the main sticker on, um, just because this is the one I initially set up as the main one. But if this one is hooked up to my ONT or basically like a modem via Ethernet, and this was in a wireless backhaul configuration, you can actually use the Ethernet ports of this one, even though this one's wirelessly talking to the main router. Uh, and you'll actually get some really good speeds. In fact, I've done separate videos on this uh, for different Wi-Fi 7 mesh systems, and it's actually absurdly fast. It's very, very fast when you use the Ethernet ports, even though it's wirelessly talking. So uh, something to note, and I will do one for this mesh system as well. And um, yeah, so very good wired, wireless backhaul, very good range, uh, decent number of options, parental controls. I mean, this thing is... Um, really a solid mesh system so let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already i am preparing for my deco uh part two basically i made a video about uh various deco systems and comparing them to each other and now i have enough deco systems that i'm going to make a new version and the new version is going to have a lot of the wi-fi 7 mesh systems as well so i will be doing that so subscribe if you guys haven't already with that let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and as always smash that subscribe button i, I said subscribe like 18 times already <laughs> uh, but i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching